Hi, and welcome to the Southwest Spotlight. I'm Janice Hernandez. Today I'm interviewing IT instructor Michael Maldonado with Southwest High School to talk a little bit about this new pathway here that we have at the high school, right? Yes, ma'am. So I am the, uh, the IT information technology teacher here at Southwest High School. What we've noticed over the last few years is there's been a, a greater demand for information technology employees here in the, the greater San Antonio area. And so we revamped our program. We've kind of made it so that our students can leave high school ready to enter the workforce as certified employees. Well, that's exciting because I know there's a high demand for this field. So tell me a little bit about the direction of this pathway and the different, I guess, projects and classes that the students can take. Sure. So right now the pathway is four classes, starting with uh, fundamentals of cybersecurity. And so in that class, it's open to everybody. Mostly freshmen take the course, but that one kind of gives them an overview of cryptology, encryption, and kind of uh, an intro to hacking so they know what they're up against. And so they won't learn how to hack into systems, but they'll learn some data hiding and some of those things. And then when they get into the second course, computer maintenance, they're able to actually take apart a computer, put it back together, learn how to troubleshoot hardware. They can look at software problems. And so that's where they really get hands-on into the machines, and that can kind of take them into the computer technician field. And so a lot of students who like that, they continue on that pathway, and they work toward an A-plus certification. And so they're able to take that directly into the workforce, even while they're still in high school. After computer maintenance, our students will go into a networking class, and that's probably the best paying field, and that's where we're really putting our emphasis for our students. We're working toward Network Plus certifications, as well as the CCNA, which is a Cisco Certified Network Associate, which a cert like that can get a student making about 70000 right out of high school. So we're really pushing that area. And then lastly, in the senior year, our students can take an internship or a practicum in IT, and we have a few different employers that we're working with to help get our students hired. So that's what you were explaining to me a little earlier today was about real world experiences and the opportunities that the kids have here with the partners that we have in the community, right? Yes, absolutely. So they're getting some hands-on skills in the classroom through the labs, but then we're able to extend that learning out into the community. We're working with Holtcat right now, as well as a few other companies trying to get our students in. And so we're actually working with the city of San Antonio and some of our students are doing an unpaid internship working on their, their website. What's the feedback that you're getting from the students? The students are loving it. It's a much more rigorous program. Like I said, we've kind of revamped the way it's being taught here, but the students are definitely enjoying it. They're enjoying the rigor. They're enjoying the hands-on feel, which is something they hadn't had in the past. And so it's something that's helped growing the program through word of mouth and then through, uh, through the job experience. And also the demand for females in the field. That's, that's interesting. Yeah, and that's one of our big pushes is we're really uh, trying to recruit females heavily. And in my experience the past few years, the girls tend to perform better when they get into the IT field. They're just reluctant because it's a very male-dominated field. And so we've got different uh, ways that we're um, helping to recruit young ladies. And one of them is by having all-girls competitions, such as the Girls Go Cyber Start, as well as the Cyber Patriot competition. So how can a student or a parent get more information on this pathway? So to get more information, they should probably call the Career and Technical Education Office here at Southwest, and that phone number is 210-622-4520. Well, Michael, thank you so much for being on our segment, and thank you for watching the Southwest Spotlight on SWISD-TV. For more stories, videos, and other green screen productions, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. We are Southwest.